The Frontline Socialist Party commented on the influence from China, India and the United States during an event in Gampaha. New York Times it was reported in the New York Times that China Harbor, a Chinese company, had given money to Mahindra Rajapaksa for his presidential election campaign. According to the 2016 report of the U.S. State Department, they had spent 354 million U.S. dollars for the elections of three countries. Among the three countries is Sri Lanka. The people believe an election is the establishment of the people's mandate. There is no such thing. This is a power struggle between the U.S. and China. In that power struggle, the U.S. and India have won. Actually, India. Different people are having different opinions. Nevertheless, we too have an opinion. The Mahaveli Development Program is known as the largest multi-purpose national development program to take place in Sri Lanka. For this project, foreign financial facilities were obtained and they were paid off during the respective period. Thereby, the project became the property of the country and the former leaders were not even interested in selling off those resources However, what is happening today? Loans are obtained from China and India as they please and the massive resources of this country are being sold off to India and China. The situation has reached a critical stage where not only the ports and airports of the country are being sold off, but the roads in the country too are likely to be sold to foreigners. It is widely discussed that Palali, which is strategically important, is also to be given to foreigners. There are legitimate concerns that giving away airports and ports will impinge on the country's security as well as the long-term economic benefit. Who gave the rulers the authority to betray the nation to foreigners? If one cannot realize the aspirations of the people, should one not hand over that task to those who can do it? Please do not enter into agreements to sell off or lease this country that will destroy the nation as a whole. Leave this country and go settle in those places. If not, the people will come together and chase them all away. The resources in the country are for the future generations. Selling them off is not a good thing. If you can't do this, please leave the country. This is all I can say. We are not speaking against the investments. Do not sell this country. This is our motherland. No matter who the ruler is, we do not approve the handover of the nation to foreigners. We voted on the 8th of January not to sell off this country. The Hambantara port, Matala port, the Gol International Cricket Stadium are required. These people may go to even India and live there. We don't mind if the President, Prime Minister, Mahindra Rajapaksa and Gotabe Rajapaksa go there. We need these resources and not the politics.